Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, we're going to be covering two topics. The first is how you install your Graco 401 Gross For Me car seat facing forward without the latch system. Now, if you have a vehicle that was produced before 2002, you likely don't have a latch system in your vehicle. So I'm going to show you how to secure your child's car seat using the shoulder and lap belt. The second thing we're going to cover in today's video is how you install your even flow infant car seat in a vehicle without the base. For today's video, we're going to be using my 1992 Lexus, which of course, being produced before 2002, does not have the latch system. If you guys find this video helpful, please put a comment down below. Let me know and let me know if there's any other topics about car seats that you guys would like for me to cover. All right, let's get into this install. So, of course, the first thing you need is your car seat. So once you've placed your car seat in your vehicle, you want to go ahead and pull your seat belt all the way out. Once your seat belt is all the way out, take the buckle and thread it through the back of your Graco 4-in-1 Girls For Me car seat. You can actually remove the padding in the middle of the seat to reveal the path that the seat belt should travel. Once you've pulled it through the middle, put it through the opening on the other side of the car seat and pull as much slack through as possible. Once you've done that, go ahead and buckle the car seat in. And now you can remove all the slack that you pulled through, pulling upward on your seat belt and wedging the car seat into the backrest of the vehicle seat. You can check to ensure that the path of the seat belt is clear and that they're laying flat against the back of the car seat and then pull any additional slack up on the original side, feeding all of that additional slack back into the vehicle. It should begin to tighten and you want to check to ensure that there is a great connection and that your work. Seat belt is locked in and there you go. All right, guys, so that's it. That's how you get your forward facing car seat installed in the vehicle without a latch system. So now we're going to move on to the infant car seat and how to install it without a base. So the install of the infant car seat is pretty simple. Instead of threading it through the rear of the car seat, you're gonna go right across the lap. The most important part is that you ensure that there is no slack in your seat belt once you've got the car seat secure. So we'll show you how. So first thing, you wanna make sure your arrow and your seat are pointing in the right direction, which should be rear, and that your seat is parallel with the pavement. You don't want the seat to be tilted too far forward or too far back in a dangerous position for your child. Similar to the first seat that we installed, you want to pull the shoulder belt all the way out. Here you're going to lay it across the lap of the car seat underneath the holders. And then you're going to go ahead and buckle the seat belt. Remove as much of the seat belt out of the car as possible and then slowly feed it back in so that it begins to click into place and create a secure connection for the seat belt. While you're doing that, pull up to remove any additional slack and wedge your car seat into the backrest of your vehicle seat. After you've removed as much slack as possible and slowly fed it back into the vehicle, check to ensure your car seat is snugly fit. And there you have it. Uh, that's how you install car seats in vehicles without latches. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button, get some alerts, find out when we're dropping new videos, which is every Monday. And if you guys decide not to like, share, or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Till next time, guys. Peace.